Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, now we're going to have to address this issue because I'll be the first one to put this out there. Um, first of all, before I get to the subject at hand, once again, I'm not about to be playing team police and all that type of shit. Uh, that just that just ain't me. But I do agree with Bud's point about them acting like he don't exist. They could at least acknowledge the man that he's a champion and they could at least put him, you know, on the on the board of champions. And it just goes to show you that's that's just real weak and that's petty. And it don't matter whether he signed to PBC or not. The man's a champion, and they should show him more respect because that may deter him not to come near. At least acknowledge the man as a champion. And once again, this ain't about being no Bud fanboy like some of y'all clowns go say because I'm kind of getting tired of that. It's, a, it's just about me calling fairness down the line. And like I said, while people sitting up here playing t uh, promotional police and shit, that ain't me. So let's address the other elephant in the room now. Okay, now what's going to happen is when somebody see Bob Arum eventually, they're going to have to ask Bob Arum, okay, what did you think of Keith Thurman and Manny Pacquiao? What did you think of Manny Pacquiao at age 40 beating Keith Thurman? Okay. And I'm going to be anxious to hear what Bob Arum is going to have to say about that because keep in mind, Bob Arum kind of thought that Manny Pacquiao was washed up and said that Manny Pacquiao shouldn't fight anymore. So basically, it's going to put Bob in a position to basically find a way out of that line of questioning because he's going to have to say, well, okay, well, did you really kill the fight or what happened? But at the end of the day, Bud Crawford looks bad in this situation because whatever the case may be, he didn't get his opportunity to fight Manny Pacquiao. And I'm going to continue to talk about some other stuff concerning Manny Pacquiao. Okay. So, okay. I'm, I'm dying to hear what Bob Irma is going to have to say. Now he may change the story and say, Hey, I, you know, he may change the story and say, oh, I killed the fight because Manny didn't want to fight Bud and I was trying to get him to fight Bud. And like I said, everybody trying to, you know, uh, use current uh, comments by Freddie Roach to make a case for caping for another fighter. But that that ain't me and I'm not going to do that. So. Because Freddie Roach is on paper saying that and, and on video saying, hey, we not fighting Bud Crawford because that'll be a difficult fight for Manny Pacquiao. And at this point in his career, he shouldn't fight a guy like Bud. Okay, so at this point in his career, he shouldn't fight a guy, guy like Bud. Basically, just tell the truth. You thought Keith Thurman was the weak link, and that's why you took a chance of, of fighting him. Because like I said, Bud's name is going to come up even more now. Okay, Bud's name is going to come up even more. And like I said, Bob Arum is going to have to answer some questions about what happened with that fight. Now, don't be surprised if Bob Arum changes his story and say, hey, Manny Pacquiao didn't want, want the fight and I may have said that just to protect him because like I said, Bob Arum ain't looking too good right now. And you just have to tell the truth about that. I told you I call shit right down the middle. I told you I'm fair about my shit. The same way I'm saying what I need to say about Bob Arum, I'm saying this shit that need to be said about PBC not acknowledging Bud as a champion. Because like I said, that's petty and weak. Because like I said, you showed Triple G on the Jumbotron, you know, when when uh, and you showed Triple G on TV, you know, during the Adrian Broner fight. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't no PBC fighter. 
most overrated fighter out there. And boy, if you knew about Triple G, my God, <laughs> I'm just telling you, you wouldn't, you would further not respect that dude. But I am telling the truth about Bob Arum. So he going to be in a very, um, he going to be in a very uncomfortable situation because you also can ask him, well, where did all this energy come from with Manny Pacquiao? You know, him doing the Ali shuffle because then it may force Bob Arum to possibly uh, hint something else about Manny Pacquiao. But But like I said before, can't wait till I see Bob again because I'm just going to ask him. I'm going to say what happened. So I'm out.